morning everyone, it's Tom here from Wahoo. Um, we're going to be heading out today to some sandbanks north of Guernsey to see if we can find a flatfish or two. It's three really small tides this weekend, so let's go and take a look.
okay for bait today we've got mackerel ah, frozen mackerel uh, we've also got some sand eels as well we've got a selection of selection of baits today So we're gonna we're gonna flapper this launch. So what you do by the tail. Cut down the backbone. Up to there, one up to there, one side. Turn it over. You got the backbone like that. The idea is that it flaps along the current. Just hook it under the nose like that. We've got our lines out now so what's happening is that the wind's going this way and the tide's going this way so on a on a normal on a car on a flat calm day the boat would be drifting that way but as they're opposing they're actually drifting kind of north so we can stay in the area where the fish might be for longer
first fish of the day. It's a little, it's a little dogfish. Then with the mackerel, I'm just going to do a fillet, so down, turn the knife. Want to streamline it. Gonna go in, skin side at the top, turn it over, just bend it a little bit, out, skin side, do a little loop, make sure the loop catches the eye of the hook to hold it in place. Pretty nice bait. So we're gonna we use one mackerel and one flapper of sand eel and see which one's more effective. We're in, folks, we're in. Something a bit more. Substantial. Small turbot. Beautiful little uh, turbot here. Not quite big enough to keep, so we're going to pop him back.
straight back down. It's gone. So with this this carcass you want to maximize you want to maximize the productivity out of this so what I tend to do I tend to chop it into small chunks yeah and then when you're at the start of your drift you throw in these small chunks and they then drift down over where you're going to be drifting and they act as ground bait so I'll save them rather than throwing the whole carcass over the side so we chop that small piece off so we want to streamline our bait so it doesn't spin in the tide So we set the ratchet because we're going to put our rod down like this and then if we get a fish that bites we'll hear, we'll hear it as an indication so a little tip is uh, this rod here I've let more line out because it's down tied let more line out than this one keep this one slightly closer to the boat and then that means you avoid trying to avoid any tangles and again folks
Bye-bye. Gotta put him back. So I'm just getting a bite here. What you want to do is, if you see a bite, you want to uh, you want to give it some line with these flat fish. Give it some line, and then just hold your thumb on the hold your thumb on the spool, and just feel if there's any weight there. And then, if there's weight there, click the reel into gear and give it a go. There's no weight there. So, we drop it back down again. Try again. Hopefully it's third time lucky. Drill this time. So there's a brill. It's a nice brill here, so the minimum landing size is 30 centimeters. I don't actually have my tape measure with me today, but this is more than 30 centimeters long from nose to nose to tail. So uh, it's quite deeply hooked as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this on for dinner. Okay hey guys, we're gonna start making our way in. We've had a couple of turbot and a brill and a couple of small dogfish, so not a bad afternoon. So we're gonna uh, start making our way back.